Hi, this is June. Welcome to my channel. For those who are new, I review stationaries, mostly writing instrument, and also draw and paint. And today's video will be for those who never use fountain pen. So it's sort of like a introduction to fountain pen. And I think it will be easy to explain it by comparing fountain pen to ballpoint pen. So why don't we start? So first of all, ink that uses a fountain pen it's very different from ink that uses a ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen, we use oil-based ink, which is waterproof and quick to dry. Fountain pen, we use water-based, which is not waterproof and slow to dry. So ballpoint pen is actually pretty easy to use, but the ink colors that are available in the market is very limited compared to fountain pen inks. I don't know how many ink colors we have for fountain pen, probably thousands I'm guessing. So once you're introduced to variety of inks to choose, it's a little bit hard to go back to your boring ballpoint pen ink. Ballpoint pen, we do need to put some pressure on the tip to write, which will cause your grip to go like this, kind of like 90 degree angle, which will bring hand cramp if you use for a long period of time. Fountain pen, I can say no pressure needed. You just make sure tip touches the paper and ink will come out by itself. The pen rests on your hand and with 45 degree angle, the ink just comes out. And since there's no hand fatigue, the writing experience is also very pleasurable and very suitable for long writing session. For fountain pen, with the right maintenance, you can pretty much use it until you die. It's very, very eco-friendly. There's nothing to dispose. You just have to refill your ink and you can use it forever. Ballpoint pen, once you finish using ink, you need to throw away the tube or sometimes even the whole pen. Fountain pen can even use different ink. Just clean the leftover inks inside your pen, dry it, and put in another ink. The last main difference might be the tip size. Ballpoint pen also have different tip sizes, but easily fine ones will be 0.5 and 0.7. Fountain pen usually comes in EF, F, M, and B. And if you look into Japanese fountain pens, such as Pilot, they offer all kinds of nibs. Falcon nib, music nib, calligraphy nibs. And not only sizes, they even have soft nib and hard nibs. Different materials, steel, coated steel, gold. Even in gold nibs, many brands offer different colors, like 14K, 18K. Even we can find 21K in Sailor brand. So there is a joy on writing with different nibs since they all come out quite different. Also, they have tons of models and tons of brands. Of course, tons of inks. So it's very collectible. It's very easy to make it your hobby. It can also be very nice present to your close friends or family. And not only that, it's always nice to have one or few beautiful writing instruments, right? Yeah, so this is pretty much it. Five difference between fountain pen and ballpoint pen. You do need extra care than ballpoint pen, but if you do, there are so many joy you can get from it. So, I do recommend you guys try out a few fountain pens and see if it works for you or not. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!